With the release of season 4 of the treasure track, we have official confirmation that the mythical epic monthly quests are officially done in Prodigy. Don't get me wrong, mythical epics aren't done, but the monthly quests where we collect quest items around the different uh, elemental areas, those are done. This is a huge change, but it is probably a necessary one for Prodigy, and I do have confirmation from Prodigy themselves that this is- it makes it easier for them to deliver new content by putting the mythical epics in the treasure track instead of the monthly quests, because as we know, in season 4 of the treasure track, we got, um, Vega Bloom as the re-released mythical epic. It could have been for the monthly quests. Uh, it could have been a re-release -re for the monthly quests, but they put it instead in the treasure track, and we got no monthly quest this month for July, which has not happened. That doesn't happen, and this is the first time since um, November 2021 that we did not get a monthly mythical epic quest, and that is because they have officially been removed. And so when we go to the mythical epics tab, there are there's a couple changes. Well, from here it doesn't look too different, but it, there the scroll is a bit different. Um, yeah, you can see some differences from what it used to be, but um, Vega Bloom is here as if it was re-released in a quest, but it wasn't. It was re-released in the treasure track. Here's Barbarian and Pirate Isle, which are currently still obtainable through the quests, I think, but that's because they were already released in, during the past couple of months. But from this point forward, we will no longer be getting any monthly mythical epic quests, so you don't have to go around and collect the quest items anymore. The mythical epics will only appear in the treasure track, and as we can see, I have all the mythical epics, so it just says that I've collected them, but how we're going to be able to see, um, the other, what it says if you don't have them is by going to a different account. Okay, I'm on a non-member account that I have that was a member at one point, and it says here, we can see with Vega Bloom, it says find Vega Bloom in the treasure track now. And this is like a new look for it. It shows Vega Bloom, and then it also shows the treasure track. And then it says 30 days left at the bottom for Vega Bloom because the treasure track has 30 days left at the time I'm recording this. And so, since we can find Vega Bloom in the treasure track, it says that. Barbarian and Pirate Isle are still um, for, through the quests, like I said, because they're still obtainable from here. But some of the others, I'll just get through the ones I already have collected as on this account. But now, all of the other mythical epics say, look for this mythic in a future treasure track which is official confirmation, mythical epics, the monthly quests have been removed, and now they are only showing up in the treasure track. It's funny that Lavama is showing this, because Lavama was just in the last treasure track as the mythical epic exclusive one in that treasure track. Um, how long, I wonder, would it take for Lavama to be re-released in another treasure track? I don't know, but all of them say that, so that's just like a, um default see every single mythical epic here says um look for this mythic in a future treasure track so some of the ones that haven't been re-released well assume we can assume that all the ones that haven't been re-released are eventually going to be showing up in the treasure track um hopefully we still get new mythical epics like the shadow vega bloom through the treasure track i expect that we'll be getting that sometime later this year and maybe even more new mythical epics as time goes on, but we can expect plenty of re-released mythical epics to be in the treasure track because we won't have a mythical epic to collect either new or re-release on the first of each month, which is going to be strange because that has happened since November of 2021, so, well, like two and a half years by now, or almost three years. So, definitely, it's going to take some getting used to, but, um, that's the way it is now. Um, Mythical Epics have officially been moved to the treasure track, 
this is no longer the place to be getting them. Um, Ula is should no longer have any use in the game unless they change it and um, make Ula have some kind of use. I'm going to have to go check out um, Ula soon because I want to know what Ula is doing right now. But who knows? We're just going to have to wait and see. But as of now, Mythical Epics are no longer being released in the monthly quests. And they are only in the treasure track. Now I just kind of want to go over like the history of the Mythical Epics. Just as like a tribute to the monthly quests that have been going on for so long now. Some of this gets pretty complicated. It started around September 2021 when Mythical Epics were first um, listed on Prodigy's website, but it was November 2nd of 2021 when Mag Mayhem was first released. It was the very first Mythical Epic and holds a quite a special place in my heart as it is part of what caused this channel to grow. On November 25th, Arcturion was added to Prodigy, and this is when they were still figuring things out, and it wasn't like on the first of each month like it has been pretty much ever since. Um, on January 6th, 2022, Shiver and Scorch became obtainable, third mythical epic, and on February 3rd, 2022, Aqua Isle became unobtainable, Mag Mayhem became unobtainable. On March 1st, 2022, Nebula became obtainable, and Arcturion was removed. On April 5th, 2022, Blast Star became obtainable, and Shiver and Scorch became unobtainable. So Blast Star being the cool robot that it is. Man, memories. On May 2nd, 2022, Luminite became obtainable and Nebula was removed. And this is weird because Nebula should not have been removed before Aquadile, but it was. Aquadile lasted like four months. On June 1st, 2022, Riptide was added to the lineup and Aquadile became unobtainable. Finally, it lasted an extra month. Now we're starting to get into kind of the typical lineup that we're used to seeing. Um, well, release dates, not lineup. Um, on July 5th, 2022, Drenchor, uh, previously known as Blue Fury Mag Mayhem, became obtainable. Blast Star was removed. So at this time, Drenchor was called Blue Fury Mag Mayhem. Let's see, on July 31st, Vega Bloom became obtainable. Yeah, we gotta get to Vega Bloom. Um, Luminite became unobtainable. So pretty much two years, Vega Bloom was released. Wow, two years later, and it's finally been re-released. On September first, twenty twenty-two, Griff Room became obtainable. Riptide was removed. On September twenty-eighth, twenty twenty-two, Solar was added and Drench Ore became unobtainable. On November 1st, 2022, Glimmerwing was added. Vega Bloom was removed. On December 1st, 2022, Bark became obtainable and Griff Room became unobtainable. On July 1st, sorry, on January 1st, 2023, Pirate Isle was added. Solar was removed. On February 1st, 2023, Buzzra became obtainable and Glimmerwing was removed. Now on February 23rd, Hydroid was accidentally released, but the same day it was fixed. So um, that brings us to March 1st, 2023, when Hydroid was added, but the quest items were unobtainable, so you could not actually collect Hydroid yet. This is also when Barbarian became un unobtainable. And on March 4th, the quest items were added and Hydroid, like, actually became obtainable. So Hydroid had some problems, yeah, when, with its release. On April 1st, 
2023, Luna became obtainable. And Pirate Isle became unobtainable. Luna was, I believe, the first Shadow Mythical Epic. Um, because at that time, when um, Nebula was released, it was Storm. So Luna is the first one to be fully released as Shadow. On May 1st, 2023, Splash and Spark became obtainable. And Buzzra was removed. Then on June 1st, we got the surprise re-release of Mag Mayhem. We expected something like the um, Ice variant of Riptide, which ended up being Polar Tide. But it was a re-release, and we found out that that was for the um, summer months that they were doing the re-releases. So Mag Mayhem became obtainable, and Hydroid was removed. On July 1st, we got the second re-release, Arcturion, and this is in order of um, their original release at this time, and Luna became unobtainable. August 1st, 2023, Shiver and Scorch became obtainable, and Splash and Spark was removed, so the variants both in the same month. Then September 1st, 2023, we finally got another new mythical epic, that being Marahawk. Marahawk became obtainable and Mag Mayhem was removed once again. On October 1st, 2023, Griftopus, a new mythical epic, was added and Griff Room became obtainable as a mistake. The next day, it was removed. Arcturion became unobtainable. On November 1st, 2023, Shimmer Storm became obtainable and Shiver and Scorch was removed again. On December 1st, 2023, Polar Tide was finally added. We had been waiting for that one for a long time. And Marahawk became unobtainable. Around uh, January 3rd, 2024, Frozera became obtainable. And Griftopus became unobtainable. Little did we know that Frozera was going to be the last new mythical epic that we got through the monthly quests. So on February 1st, 2024, Blast Star was re released. We were not expecting it for sure, but it happened, and this started the string of re releases that carried up until uh, June 2024. Shiver Shimmerstorm became unobtainable on February 1st. On March 1st, 2024, Aquadile was re-released, and Polar Tide became unobtainable. On April 1st, 2024, Griff Room became obtainable again. It was re-released, and then Frozera became unobtainable on that day. On May 1st, 2024, Barbarian was re-released, and Blast Star was removed. And finally, on June 1st, 2024, Pirate Isle was re-released. As the last mythical epic to be re-released, we did not know it at the time, but the last mythical epic to be added as a monthly quest. So, way to go, Pirate Isle, I guess. Um... And Aqua Isle was removed from the lineup. And going into um, August, well, in July, let's say July 1st, 2024, Griff Room was removed from the lineup. Um, in August 1st, August 1st of 2024, um, Barbarian will be removed from the lineup. And in on September 1st, Right? September 1st, I think. 2024, Pirate Isle will be removed from the lineup. So, then that will be the last of the Mythical Epics gone from being able to be gotten through the quests. Which is going to, it's going to be sad because we've had so many memories over time with these Mythical Epics being in the monthly quests. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. I put all those thumbnails up there, um, 
because I created all those videos. I've been creating these monthly quest videos since Meg Mayhem was re released for the first time as the first mythical epic. So I have um, quest videos on every single mythical epic that has been released. I also have a playlist on that. You can check those out if you want to look back on all of those old videos. So that is the complete history of the monthly mythical epic quests. Um, yeah, kind of complicated, pretty long. It's been going for getting closer to three years now, and it's officially over with season four of the treasure track. We got this update that shows that, uh, that says mythical epics will be released in future treasure tracks. Look for this mythic in a future treasure track. So that is our confirmation that mythical epic quests have been officially removed from prodigy on july 3rd 2024 well so what do you think about this massive change that has been brought upon us by the um new treasure track leisure lagoon season four of the treasure track what do you think about the removal of the monthly quests and the um the the re the why can't I speak? The release or re-release of Mythical Epics being in Treasure Tracks only from now on. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.